You have condemned the conduct of the elections in Belarus and you've also condemned the violence from security forces that has followed those elections. But what does this mean for the future of US-Belarus relations, in particular relating to two things, deliveries of US oil to Belarus and the dispatching of a US ambassador to Minsk? Well, we're going to have to work through that. Uh, as you said, um, we were incredibly troubled by the election and deeply disappointed that it wasn't more free and more fair. Uh, we've seen this behavior before, uh, and we regret that this is how it's transpired. Then we've watched the violence in the aftermath, uh, peaceful protesters uh, being treated in ways that are inconsistent with how they should be treated. Uh, we haven't settled out what the appropriate response is, but I can tell you this. Um, we'll work with our European friends, our freedom-loving friends here who are equally concerned about what took place. We, we want good outcomes for the Belarusian people, and we'll take actions consistent with that. There is talk of sanctions um, within the European Union. Um, when you come to sit and think about the measures, will you also consider sanctions? Will you consider stopping the oil shipments? Well, I'm sure we'll look at each of these things, and our, the important thing to note is the criteria. What is it that we believe that we can do, not just the United States unilaterally, but in a multilateral way, to deliver good outcomes for the Belarusian people, whether that turns out to be sanctions or turns out to be making decisions about uh, product deliveries, those are all things that are yet to be determined. We're still pretty fresh off this election and we need to see how things settle out here in the near future.